to join Coldwood Discount Juicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys why you have been juicing the almighty pomegranate all wrong all these years. You know, way back in the day, I used to recommend a citrus press to extract the juice of pomegranate. These fruits right here, that's what many people do to get pomegranate juice out. They literally cut the fruit in half like I'll be demonstrating they put it in the press, they squeeze out the juice, you got your juice. Now, this is the method that you want to do if you want the fastest way to juice pomegranate. I guarantee it. Doing it the way I'll be showing you guys is a lot slower, right? So you got to determine, like, what is your goal? Is your goal just fast pomegranate juice? Because i got to just sell it and sell it at my, you know, stand or whatever if you guys are making it commercially. Then continue this process, right? But if you're like me, if you're somebody that's into health and have researched and know all the different benefits of the pomegranate and you want to get more of them into you, then you will want to pay attention to this video. Um, you know, I always have been improving my extraction methods of different polyphenols and plant compounds and phytochemicals. And this is my latest way to extract the, the most nutrients from the pomegranate. Links down below where I show juicing in the press or juicing the pomegranate arils in a slow juicer, which is a step above this method. But even, I'm going to show you guys the best method that I don't have a video on yet. And that's why I'm making it for you guys, all right? So first, we're just going to go ahead and juice pomegranate the traditional way. These are local grown pomegranates. I like to cut off the little top thing. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut this in half inspect it to make sure it looks good looks good to me we're gonna go ahead and put this in the press because I want to show you guys a comparison of the juice made different methods and we'll be doing a taste test comparison alright you can see we smashed the jibijibis out of that pomegranate and we got some smashed pomegranate I think what I'll be doing off camera is we're gonna just juice the rest of these to have a nice tall glass of pomegranate juice as you guys can see, I made a nice tall glass of pomegranate juice. And you know, the pomegranate juice you make at home with your very own juicer and fresh pomegranates is a lot different than the pomegranate juice you guys can buy in the store. Store-bought pomegranate juice is often pasteurized, heat processed, maybe even from concentrate where you're losing some of the beneficial qualities of the pomegranate juice. Now I want to show you guys how to make the most nutritious pomegranate juice. Um, once again, I just showed you guys how to use the press and literally press out the juice of the pomegranate. So literally you blow open the arils and you extract all the liquid. And then you're left with the, the rind, the skin, and all the seeds that are literally pressed into the pulp there. Um, you know, to me, this juice is not very sweet. Many people may juice some oranges at the same time to make a pomegranate and orange juice. So it is sweeter, but I'm going to show you guys the best way possible because that's what I'm all about. I want to always increase the phytonutrients and plant chemicals that I'm getting into my life, right? There's tons of research. Pomegranates are probably one of the healthiest fruits you guys could eat. It is one of the fruits that contains the most amount of polyphenols, and there's lots of research on the whole host of benefits that polyphenols can give you, including feeding your microbiome and encouraging acromancia, which is a beneficial bacteria in your gut that many people may not have enough of. Now, aside from just getting the liquid from the arils, we will also be extracting the punic acid and other nutrients, including vitamin E and minerals from the seeds. You guys could research, like, research pomegranate seed oil. You know, they have anti-cancer studies. It's good for this and that. I'm not going to make any medical claims. You guys need to look up your own. But the nutrients in the seed is so valuable to get this into us. Plus, it also tempers down the bitterness of the juice and makes it taste good. Now, when we pressed it out with the standard press, we introduced some air into the juice. If you guys see, there's some foam in there. And because this is in standard atmospheric conditions, 
there is some oxidation going on at the time we are squeezing and blowing open the cell walls and extracting the juice, at which point the juice will start to degrade. So what I want to do instead is I want to basically pulverize the seeds and the juice while it is under a state of less than atmospheric oxygen um, by putting it under a vacuum in the vacuum blender. Very important, don't use a standard blender for this process. Standard blenders will oxidize your phytonutrients and oxygen sensitive vitamins and reduce them more and significantly reduce the storability of your juices and smoothies you make in a traditional blender because literally if you look in the middle of a blender you have a funnel cone of air mixing in as it's blowing open cell walls that's why i no longer recommend traditional blending yes this includes if you have a vitamix a blend tech or other blender that does not have a vacuum pump to evacuate the air before the blend and even better during the blend so if we blend all these up then we're just gonna have a smoothie it's gonna be really thick there's gonna be a lot of pulp in there and that's no fun to drink and I want to remove some of the fiber that can impede the digestion of some of the polyphenols and slow down the digestion so to do that we will need another product this is known as Alexa's nut milk bags these are sold in a pack of two for one low price my favorite nut milk or juice bags that we can now extract the juice from our blended mixture. These guys have a one-year replacement guarantee. They're oversized. They're large. They're designed perfectly. Trust me, I've tested other nut milk and juice bags, and nothing works as good as Alexa's bags. Also, this is super easy to clean. I literally hose it down with a high-pressure spray of the, of the hose, and it, everything dislodges without any scrubbing. So that's how we're going to do it. These are available at alexasbags.com and I am helping them with their marketing and your purchase at Alexas Bags, they'll pay me a little small commission because I am helping them out. So on with this video, let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So first step is we're going to go ahead and take, we got basically uh, two quarts of the pomegranate arrows. We're literally going to just dump into the blender here. All right, now that we filled that pitcher up literally with two quarts of arrows, now we got to put the vacuum sealing lid on properly make sure it fully seals next we're going to go ahead and take our vacuum pump that comes with your vacuum blender and we're going to evacuate all the excess oxygen out of the craft and all the space between the arrows as they're sitting in there all you got to do is press this button once the light comes on and now it is evacuating sucking all the excess oxygen out of the craft so we'll be blending in an oxygen deprived environment once all the excess oxygen is pulled out of the craft, the pump will automatically stop. So at this point, you can remove it. And now you have basically your contents are under vacuum before you blend. This is the critical step that is essential for me making the highest quality juices. And, you know, I juice a lot more things than just pomegranate arrows in the vacuum blender. Put links down below to how I juice the best celery, how I make the best fruit juices, as well as vegetable juices all linked down below. So now all we got to do is press two buttons on the Dynapro so it automatically blends so that you don't have to deal with it. We're going to hit the pulse button once followed by the blend button once. That'll run this blender for a total of one minute, 30 seconds it'll pulse and then for the last 30 seconds it'll just blend solid to get this mixture fully ground up and we're going to extract all the nutrition from the seeds and the arrows mixed together without the oxygen. All right, now that we got it fully blended, now we're going to go ahead and we got a two quart anchor hawking uh, glass measuring uh, cup or mixing bowl. And we got our Alexa's nut milk bag. We're going to take this bag and literally just put it all the way inside this mixing bowl. And that's the secret of Alexa's bag. It's so large, it literally just fits around this mixing bowl without any issues so that you could get your mixture in there nice and easily. Then here is where the magic happens. Listen carefully as I pull this little tab on the vacuum blender. Let's all that air back in, proving that we basically ground up and blew open the cell walls in a state of less oxygen. So we had less oxidative damage to the oxygen sensitive polyphenols and antioxidant vitamins. We're gonna go ahead and now take our mixture 
and pour it into Alexa's nut milk bag. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, John, you're a genius. Well, actually you're thinking you're stupid, John, because you blended under vacuum, but then when you're done, you open it up and let all the air back in. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. The most important time to blend it or vacuum is when you're blowing open cell walls as you see the funnel vortex in there because you are literally introducing dissolved oxygen into your mixture. Because we did this in an oxygen deprived environment, we didn't blow up and add all the extra dissolved oxygen in the mixture, which means, and according to scientific studies, this shows that you will have greater levels of the oxygen sensitive polyphenols and in addition because we put the seeds in there we're getting the nutrients from the seeds out and in addition uh, this mixture will store longer and retain more nutrients than things that are traditionally blended or even made in a slow juicer or even high speed juicer you know when when they add in oxygen now it is true that when I will use the nut milk bag, I will introduce small amounts of oxygen through the pressing motion and squeezing motion of my hand, but this pales in comparison to the amount of oxygen, you know, that's put into uh, a juice during normal juicing. So the next step is we're just going to go ahead and squeeze this out. It's super simple, super easy. Now, yes, your hands may get stained, but this is good because now you have polyphenol influences going into your skin on your hands. This will help you keep your skin looking younger without buying all these expensive retinol creams and cucumber extract creams and different kind of cantaloupe creams from the French Alps and all these things that they advertise on TV. As you guys can see, I basically pressed out all the juice, and this is what's left of the pomegranate. It's basically it's all the seed mash that we have pressed out. You know, if you're super hardcore, you could dehydrate this stuff and eat it. I mean, industry will you could buy like pomegranate seed press cake if you want. After they press out the oil and it's like still good and nutritional, we'll eat this. I mean, to me, there's like Zero flavor, lots of fiber. <laughs> that being said, we are extracting some of the soluble fiber in when we use the nut milk bag. All right, last thing I want to do for you guys today is we're going to go ahead and sample both juices I made. And I'm going to show you guys my honest opinions on both of them. And here they are. You guys can see clearly. Here's the juice I made with the superior method to preserve more antioxidants and polyphenols that are sensitive to oxygen and oxygenation as well as the influence and nutrients from the seed, including the punicic acid and other nutrients such as vitamin E and minerals in the seed. And here's the juice made in the standard press, which is how most pomegranate juices are made. So let's see, I'm gonna taste the traditional pomegranate juice, how most of you guys juice pomegranates. Ah, you ever get that? in your mouth. I think that's the influence when we press out the, the pith. You get that bitter pith. That's probably some nutrition too. This is really like a smooth, a really smooth juice, kind of like water. It's kind of like, I would compare this to like just putting it oranges in here and pressing out what I would call, or Jay the Juice Man taught me to call orange water, because it's really the orange coloring of water. But to me, an orange juice is when, when you pair off the coloring on the orange, keeping all the white pith and then you could use the same method here. That's gonna make a really full body juice with more nutrition because most of the nutrition in an orange is actually in the pith, not in just the water alone. So this is more like a, if I could say a pomegranate water because it's just literally the liquid. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the good stuff, right? The total juice less some of the fiber. Mmm. oh my gosh. I'm not getting that bitter or the astringency at the end. I'm getting like nice and sweet. I'm getting the fat. So if you ever drink like milk, it kind of tastes rich. I gotta taste this again, it's so good. The mouthfeel is like more rubbery. 
and it's just, I mean, I got a little bit of that, the, the hint of the bitter, but it's not nearly as strong as this guy. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. That stuff is pretty bitter, guys, and that's why probably a lot of you guys don't drink pomegranate juice, because you don't like the taste, because it's like, kind of like, it's good for me, but it kind of doesn't taste so good, and you're like, Ugh. Trust me, guys, once you go vacuum juice, you won't go back. I really wish you guys were here to taste this. It's just so sweet, so delicious, packed of the different, nu more nutrition, polyphenols, oxygen sensitive nutrients, as well as the fats from the seeds that will, that will allow you to have greater uptake of some of the fat soluble vitamins in the juice. So there you guys have it, you guys now know how to make the most nutritious pomegranate juice on earth using the vacuum blender, blending it, and using Alexa's nut milk bags. If you guys are interested in buying the Dynapro so that you can do this task, the same one I use, link down below in the description and the first comment that's pinned at the top. Also, I'll have a link to the Alexa's nut milk bags that you can purchase the nut milk or juice bags, as I usually mostly use them for juice. I never, I rarely ever make the nut milk. Of course, you don't need to buy the Dynapro to do this, but if you want to juice other things besides the power granites, you should get the Dynapro because this carafe is optimized for vacuum juicing because it is actually nice and fat. And also the Dynapro has that really easy, convenient pulse feature that you press once and it basically sucks all the ingredients into the blender to get blended up without adding extra water if you properly pack the juice or link down below to a video I made how to make an anti-oxidation green juice where I explain this in more detail. Of course, you can use any vacuum blender to do this task because the pomegranates are really high in water content. And I would encourage you guys to just start vacuum blending and even using the bag to vacuum juice to increase the nutrients you guys are getting in your food. And I make these videos because I wanna share with you guys what I'm doing in my personal life I will be using this juice to actually blend in under vacuum, turmeric and ginger, some ginseng, uh, cloves, black pepper, re-blending it, and then strain it out again. So now I'm even getting a higher nutrients of the pomegranates with all the nutrients from the ginger, ginseng, and other plant foods that I eat so I can have a very high polyphenol-rich diet. I believe the polyphenols and these plant phytochemicals and phytonutrients are essential for our health and many of you guys may not care and just I'm gonna press my juice John that's too much work <laughs> I'm just showing you guys what I do in case you guys like that guy John's crazy but I'm gonna follow him because I believe what he's saying that's why I make these videos for you guys so you guys can do that if you so desire if not hey keep pressing your power grad juice power grads is still one of the most nutritious foods on the entire planet if you guys enjoyed this episode hey please be sure to give this video a thumbs up that helps the YouTube algorithm get this video out to more people so that they can learn about how to make the world's best pomegranate juice. Also, be sure to share this video with somebody else so that they can learn about the power of vacuum juicing in the vacuum blender, whether you're using pomegranates or other fruits. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out my new and upcoming episodes that are coming out every five to seven days. You don't know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the little bell to get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are Wolf of Knowledge. Over 600 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to teach you guys all about the different juicers and using and picking the right juicer for you to get all your juicing tasks done without all, all the fluff that you will get other places. Get all compare two juicers side by side so that you guys don't have to buy them and you guys don't have to. If you guys enjoyed my content and my work, I'd encourage you guys to make your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to continue to make my educational videos, and I appreciate you guys so much who have supported me. Also, when you purchase from Discount Juicers, you get me on your side as your liaison to ensure that you get warranty service from the manufacturers of the juicers that we sell. I have close relationships with all the manufacturers I work with as well as you have me on your side to answer all your post-sale questions. I am the juicing expert, and I will know the answer or know where to get the answer if you have a question about how to use your juicer or what juicer to use for certain produce items. So I want to thank you guys in advance 
who will purchase from me. I want to thank you guys who have supported me in the past. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors. Thank <laughs> you.